Okay, talking about hyperglycemia, when you think of hypoglycemia, it's low, hypo is low. Hyper is like hyperactive, it's just too much. And what you've got is too much sugar. So the state of diabetes is being unable to control your blood sugar levels by yourself. You're gonna need external help with medications and technology, blood test meters and so on. Now, hyperglycemia technically is any blood sugar reading over about eight millimoles. No one should really be panicking with an eight millimole reading or anything up to about 12. It's only when you start to get higher sugars than that in a sustained way that you're in trouble. Um, after you've eaten a meal, your sugars will go up and testing after a meal and finding a high blood sugar shouldn't really mean that you adjust anything that you're doing unless those sugars remain high. Now, what can happen if you stay with high blood sugars for too long is it leads on to the production. The body starts to make ketones and once that happens, if they build up, you can end up with ketoacidosis, which I'll deal with in another demo. The only way you can treat hyperglycemia is by medication. If you're on insulin, you're probably taught to do adjustments so that if you have a sustained high blood sugar, you can actually give yourself a little pip of insulin to bring that down. Be careful, having little pips of insulin, they're much more powerful if you haven't actually had food because instead of the insulin going in and having some food to deal with, it just goes in and sort of goes like this across the system. So you can go from having a high blood sugar to a blood sugar that's too low. So keep that all in context so that you don't overdo it. One of the other reasons for hyperglycemia can be infection. If you're ill or coming down with something, your body tends to gear up and release sugars in order to fight infection. And it might even make you a little bit insulin insensitive. So it means that the insulin that's in your body isn't actually being as effective. So just be aware of that. It's what you hopefully will get taught at some point about sick day rules. So that when you're ill, you, you don't just look after the illness, you actually have to look after your diabetes as well. Do keep taking your medication, do keep blood testing. The, the most important thing is blood testing. If you've got a blood test kit, use it and make a record of what's happening. Because if you can't bring your blood sugars down, you might need to seek medical help.